Now in this how-to we are going to see that how to limit the size of the file to upload. This is generally useful when uh, you want uh, your user to l upload only a specific uh, uh, size of the file. For example, user should be able to upload only 50 kilobyte of the f uh, size of the file. Or so in that case of scenario what you can do is that you can basically uh, use uh, uh, to limit the size. So let me show you how to do that. Here we have a uh, file upload control and uh, we have a button on click of the button we are executing upload limited size file uh, server side method now let me create that method as well here so here is my method server side method you can say and in this let us see how I am doing that first I am uh, getting the content length of the file that is being selected by the user into file size uh, variable so in order to get the content length and that length will basically give in the byte so <laughs> we will use file upload one dot posted file dot content length as you can see here and uh, now because the content length is is given in, in, in terms of byte so we will have to convert that into the kilobyte so in order to convert that into the kilobyte I have divided the file size uh, with uh, 1024 that will give the uh, size in the kilobyte and then I am checking here if the file size in kilobyte is greater than 5 because I am going to limit the 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 file size to be up uploaded only 5 kilobyte so if the file size is more than 5 kilobyte then give a, a so an error message saying that sorry you can upload a file with size less than 5 kilobyte only and if it is less than 5 kilobyte then it will simply upload the file on the server let us uh, show this uh, let me show you this uh, with, the, with this demonstration so here is the uh, web page now let me uh, select any file that is less than 5 kilobyte so here is my file that is only 845 bytes so it should upload the file on the server you can see that it has been uploaded when I will you can see that this particular funda icon is coming so this, this file size was naturally less than 5 kilobyte so it has been uploaded on the server now let me select any file whose size is more than 5, five kilobyte so this article.txt file is 8.72 kilobyte now when I will select this file and click on this button you can see that because its file size is more than 5 kilobyte so it is coming to this if block and it is showing one error message saying that you can upload a file with less than 5 kilobyte only so using the content length property and dividing with 1024 you can get the size of the file in kilobyte and you can check that file size with whatever uh, amount you want to limit and then you can either show the error, um, error message or upload the file on the server now let's talk a scenario where you have you have to place multiple file upload control on the server so that user will be able to select multiple files and uh, upload multiple files on the server at a time so in that case what we can do is that we can place a multiple file upload control on the server for example let me show you this so here is uh, my file upload control you can see that if we have around four upload uh, four file upload controls here and then we have a single button on click of the single button we are executing upload multiple file server side method now let me create this up, um, upload multiple files server side method as well so here is my server side method and in this what I am doing is that first I am getting the HTTP file collection using request.files see here when I am writing request.files it is basically giving me the HTTP file collection. HTTP file collection is nothing but the collection of all file upload control that is kept on the page. And then I am looping through all the file upload controls and, and using its indexer I am getting a single file upload control. For example if I have four then uh, in, in the first loop I will get the first file upload control and the same way I will get all four different different file upload controls and then I am uploading the file on the server you can see that uh, for every file I am using 
file upload control dot save as method and I am saving the file on the so I think there is one typo here instead of this file upload one we should have file here because now we are uploading uh, file for every file upload control that is kept on the ASPX space and this loop uh, will give you a loop through all the file upload control and, and using this indexer we are getting each file upload control one by one and then we are calling the save as method and we are saving the file on the server so let me delete all of these images so that we will have no confusion when we upload multiple files now you can see that there is no image file here now let me uh, uh, run this particular page and uh, select multiple files so here is my first file and then here is my second file and this is my oops sorry and this is my third file and then we have let's say fourth file now when I will click on upload multiple files button what will happen is that this method will fire and it will look through all the file selected files and it will catch one by one and then upload the files on the server now let me click on upload multiple files all five, four files have been uploaded successfully you can see and when I will refresh this particular folder you can see that one two three four all four files have been uploaded on the server so this is the way to basically upload multiple files on the server now the next how to is how to upload multiple files using jquery <coughs> the limitation of the earlier how to was that the whole uh, you know we were able to select the file uh, but the problem was that we were not able to limit uh, the, uh, the the file that user is selecting and the client side itself for example if we had to limit that user will be able to select only dot GIF file then uh, we will have to go to the server side and then here we will have to again use the path dot get extension method of this particular file name and then we will have to limit it here the way we had seen into the earlier how to's but in case we want to uh, limit the selected file at the client side itself we can use the jquery and there is one extension uh, that is basically coming from that basically comes from the fineworks.com website and I will show you how to do that so first let me just uh, uh, create one create the necessary uh, controls on the ASPX page so here is my uh, necessary controls the first is naturally you can see that file upload control let me show you this so here is my file upload control and then we have a button on click of the button we are executing jquery upload files a server side method that we will create in few moment and two important we must say very important uh, point to notice is that I am just referring the jquery file first so let me copy paste the jquery file here into my current folder so here is my file upload control yes let me copy paste these two files paste now this is my this jquery 1.4.min is basically the jquery file that we will have to refer into my ASPX page in case you have a master page and content page concept then you can simply uh, uh, refer this into the master page no need to do it into the content page as well and then you can also you will have to also refer one plugin that is available with the jquery and that you can download from the fineworks.com slash jquery slash multi file upload con uh, page you can go to this particular URL and you will be able to download this jquery dot multi file dot pack dot js file you can see that this is the uh, uh, multiple file upload control plugin of jquery that I had downloaded and I am referring that into my page as well here and then once you are done then your client side uh, code is almost ready now let us uh, create the jquery upload files uh, method that is the server side method naturally that I had talked about so here is my jquery upload files method
and in this method what we are doing is that we are again doing the same thing that we had done into the earlier uh, file uh, earlier how to we are accessing the request dot files and that will basically give all the file upload uh, controls that is uh, that will be on the client side and then but you may say that you know we have kept only one file upload control here then how can we uh, access multiple file uh, in, into the server side actually what happens is that when you are using this particular plugin this plug pl plugin basically helps you to uh, automatically generate multiple uh, uh, file upload control on on the client side itself in case you will have a, you have a specified class is equal to multi if you will not specify class equal to multi then it will only allow you to select only one file but because I have a specified class equal to multi so it will allow me to uh, select multiple files at the client side and then there is one more attribute of this file upload control that you will have to specify if you want to limit the type of file user should be selected so for example here I have limited jpg or aspx if I will select dot .gif file then it will not let me you know select that particular GI file only jpg or aspx file it will support so I will show you in this demonstration and uh, then once we have this uh, request file collection then I am uh, doing the same thing I am simply looping through that particular collection and uploading the file one by one the, the similar stuff that we had done into the earlier how to now let me show you the, uh, this uh, the whole code in the in the demonstration so let me just uh, delete the existing uh, images file again so that we will not have any confusion and let me run this page and here you can see that I am selecting one file it is saying that you cannot select that .txt file because I have limited the file to be selected as G .jpg or aspx now let me select the uh, jpg file I hope we have a jpg file yes we have a jpg file and uh, you can see that as soon as I, I, I have selected that file name is coming here and just beside that there is one cross uh, link as well let me select one more file here mm. we do not have any jpg okay so what let me just modify this and instead of jpg let me write gif and then let me refresh this page again so now let me select one GIF file first so here is my GIF it is successful now let me uh, select another GIF file this is also successful now if I will select any PNG or .jpg because that is not allowed so it will give that you cannot select the JPG file because I removed the JPG from here I have now used GIF and if you, in case user has selected any wrong file for example I don't want to select this file then I can go ahead and click on the cross mark that will immediately remove so here the benefit we are going, going to get is that we don't have to check the file extension at the server side but we can do that filtration in the client side itself and once we are happy with this then uh, no user can uh, click on the uh, button and the all files will be uploaded on the server successfully you can see that when I will refresh all both the files has been uploaded on the server successfully so uh, no, uh, thanks to this uh, jQuery plugin that allows us to uh, check all the file type filtration at the client side itself and uh, without putting multiple file upload control on the spec space uh, it allows us to uh, upload multiple files now there is one limitation in ASP.NET by default that you cannot uh, upload uh, a file whose size is more than 4 MB so in case uh, you uh, you want your user to upload a file uh, with more than uh, 4 MB then what you need to do is that you need to uh, set uh, some configurations into the, your web.config file and uh, for that you need to use under system.web you have to write a HTTP runtime and that ma max request length property equal to 4096 that is by default in case you want to for example you want to update uh, this to 8 GB so that user will be able to uh, file with 8 GB size then you can simply just double it out and uh, user will be able to uh, upload the file on the server 
till 8 GB size and you can also specify execution timeout for example if some your, your server is not responding properly till 360 seconds then uh, it will basically time out so this is the way to increase the maximum request size limit in order to upload larger file on the servers